out as a case of flu for an Anderson County woman almost took her life. She ended up spending more than six weeks at a Louisville hospital, and although she's doing much better today, her journey is far from over. Catherine Gardner is here with Krista Mitchell's story. Well, Kevin, Nancy, to better explain how serious Mitchell's case is, physicians and surgeons believe she will have to have fingers and toes amputated. But no matter, Mitchell tells me she's just glad she's alive today. You know, I knew something was off, but I had the flu. When you look at photos of 30-year-old Krista Mitchell, she appears to be a happy, healthy mother, daughter, and wife. But when she caught the flu at the end of December, her health took a turn for the worse. She was able to walk on her own into the hospital, and then she's leaving in a wheelchair. Krista says just 24 hours after visiting her doctor to be tested for flu, she was hospitalized and started fighting for her life. Pneumonia took over, so they put her on a ventilator, and the pneumonia turned into sepsis and then into septic shock. Krista says what started out as flu ended up taking her fingers and toes, changing her life forever. So it was either save me or have this happen. So I'm, you know, happy to be alive. As of now, Krista is out of the intensive care unit and undergoing physical and occupational therapy. She admits that she never received the flu shot this season, so she wants her story to move those who haven't gotten the flu shot yet. Just make sure you don't just let it go because, you know, if I had, I wouldn't be here right now. Now, Krista Mitchell says she gets to go home to family on Friday this week, and a benefit has been set up to help her with medical expenses. It'll take place on March 4th at Keepsakes Country Diner in Chaplin, Kentucky, off Lawrenceburg Road. Back to you.